Meet Digit, a two-legged humanoid robot designed and built by Agility Robotics to not only mimic a human worker, but walk like one as well. Digit can reach a maximum walking speed of 5 feet per second and can run for 3 hours. At 61 inches in height and weighing around 93.5 pounds, the machine is currently able to transport packages and totes as well as unload trailers. Made of light material and capable of lifting items which weigh as much as 40 pounds, Digit is able to climb and descend stairs, move smoothly across uneven terrain, and can even respond to things like bumps without losing its footing or falling over. The humanoid robot will continue to improve with the coming addition of a head that has two eyes, which will let humans know where the robot intends to go next. The company also plans to equip the robot with fingers to grip more complex items. Digit can easily navigate the same kinds of spaces that people use every day, including the warehouses at Amazon. The robot's unique design lets it fold up for simple storage when not being used and also has the additional advantage of being able to communicate with other devices. While Digit is designed to function as a standalone unit, it is equipped with the latest sensors and heavy-duty computing hardware to provide more support and analytical capabilities whenever they are needed. With a LiDAR sensor and a few cameras, Digit is equipped with the right amount of sensor power to get through whichever basic situations it may find itself in. While Digit was initially intended to function for last-mile delivery, in recent times, the company has shifted its concentration towards logistics. The idea is to transform Digit into a platform that can be used for general-purpose tasks such as unpacking trucks or moving boxes through warehouses. Agility Robotics, which recently received $150 million from an investment led by the Amazon Industrial Innovation Fund, is currently expanding. The company has doubled its size since the beginning of January to over 130 employees and is investing in the vertical integration of its manufacturing process. It is also working to enable cloud-based fleet management, integrating with the systems of its customers and various other warehouse management systems. Founded in 2015, Agility Robotics develops bipedal robots that are highly efficient for use in logistics, telepresence, entertainment, and research. The goal of the company is to develop machines with legs which can go anywhere that an individual can go. The first robot released in the year 2016 was a bipedal robot named Cassie, which could walk across uneven terrain but had no arms for lifting objects. The Digit robot was the second version of the Cassie and was released in 2019. The legs of Digit are similar to those of Cassie's, but Digit comes with a body full of sensors, as well as a set of arms which are used to balance, move and manipulate its environment. Artificial intelligence-powered skin-like computing chip analyzes health data. A group of U.S. researchers has developed an elastic, stretchable computer chip that processes information in a way that mimics our brains. In this work by the University of Chicago, the researchers have combined wearable technology and artificial intelligence to create a device that analyzes the health data of our bodies. The researchers designed the chip to fit on the body in a seamless manner with skin. At present, getting a comprehensive assessment of your health requires a visit to the doctor or clinic, but in the near future, our health could be continuously monitored by wearable electronic devices that can detect illness before symptoms show. The team behind the research developed the chip to gather data from multiple biosensors to make conclusions about the health of an individual with cutting-edge machine learning techniques. For this, they look to polymers which are used to construct electrochemical transistors and semiconductors. However, they also have the capacity to be bent and stretched. They assembled polymers into a device that allowed for AI-based analysis of health data. Instead of functioning like a normal computer, the neuromorphic computing chip is much like a human brain, which is able to analyze and store data in a coordinated manner. To evaluate the effectiveness of their new device, they used it to analyze ECG data, which represents the electrical activity of the human heart. The device was trained to categorize ECG results into five categories, including healthy and four other categories if irregular signals are detected. They then tested the device using the latest ECG data. Even if the chip was bent or stretched, it was still able to accurately categorize heartbeats. With real-time data on blood pressure, this device could intelligently decide the best time to alter a patient's medication. Further research is required to evaluate the efficacy of the device in determining the patterns that define health as well as illness.
but in the future, it could be used to send alerts to the clinician or patient, or to even make adjustments to medications automatically. A machine learning model solves university-level mathematics problems in seconds at a human level. Unlike humans, machine learning models have a difficult time trying to solve problems that involve linear algebra, differential equations, or multivariable calculus. Even the most sophisticated models are only able to answer math questions at the high school or elementary level, and they can't always provide the correct solutions. MIT researchers from multiple disciplines have worked together to develop an artificial neural network which can quickly and efficiently solve college-level math problems. The model could be able to automatically explain solutions in math classes at universities and rapidly create new problems too. In a test, students at the university were presented with questions generated by the machine learning model, but they were unable to decide if they were created by humans or an algorithm. The research has also been released in the National Academy of Sciences Proceedings. Researchers believe their work could help speed up the creation of course material in large classes which have hundreds of participants. The program can also function as an online tutor which shows students how to tackle math problems in college. It is believed that by assisting teachers in understanding the link between the courses they teach and their prerequisites, the approach could be a great way to improve the quality of higher education. This machine learning model is a result of more than two years of work. At first, researchers discovered that models which were pre-trained with only text were not able to provide superior accuracy for high school-level math problems. However, models that employ graph neural networks require longer periods of training. The researchers made a breakthrough when they used program synthesis and few-shot learning techniques to convert questions from famous universities, undergraduate math courses that the model had never encountered before into programming tasks. Researchers also added a second phase that involved fine-tuning before feeding these programming tasks to the neural network. A pre-trained neural network model called Codex was fine-tuned on both text and code. The model was trained using data that contained millions of lines of code, as well as natural language, which allowed it to comprehend the relationship between code and text. With only a handful of code-based questions, the model is now able to transform a text query into code, then run the code to give an answer. This technique showed a significant increase in accuracy, from an 8% accuracy to an 80% accuracy. The team has made it clear that they are trying to make it easier for humans to tackle more difficult math problems using machine learning and do not intend to replace human teachers. While the team is pleased with the outcomes of their efforts, there are still some limitations they need to be able to overcome. Because of its computational complexity, the model is unable to answer questions with visuals and can't solve computationally intractable issues. Along with overcoming these hurdles, they would also like to expand the model to hundreds of courses so that it can advance automation and design of courses and curriculum.